Hey, this is, uh, I think it's nine o'clock right now. I'm starting the 48 hour dagger challenge. Niels Vandenberg, it's actually all over on, uh, it'll be on YouTube, not YouTube. I'm showing it here on YouTube, but it'll be on a Facebook page. Um, I'm not su super tech savvy here about this and y'all probably know that, so. Let me set this up because you can see what I'm drawing. And maybe it looks like this. Maybe I can, I'm new to the stand here, so maybe I can make it work great for us. For you, for me. All right. Let's see if you can. Yeah. You can kind of see what I'm drawing here. It's going to be backwards. So I'm just going to do a dagger. Uh, the idea behind this is that it's symmetrical uh, and nice. You know, you want to make symmetry and beauty. So what I like to do is just make a simple central line first when I'm doing a dagger. Center line. And then, well, this is like a top secret thing I shouldn't show anyway. I'm going to pull the page out. And one, two, fold it in. I'm gonna make another line. <laughs> I didn't like that line. That line was straight, but that was maybe not where I wanted it because I'm sure it wasn't central and it wasn't. So we'll do it on this page. It'll be a lot easier. So now I'm gonna fold this over. This will be pretty much dead center. This is a technique I taught myself when I was in uh, probably ninth grade while I was not paying attention to whatever nonsense they were teaching me. High school was garbage. I hated it. And uh, I, would draw, I would do a drawing. I would make a line down the center, and then I would draw half the piece. Now I'm just going to lay this out. I know this isn't a great viewing portal here. I don't know if I can make it better. Let's see if we can do it on this side. This might be better. Is that any better? It's not the best camera cameraman there is, you know? I wonder if we could turn it sideways. Is that Operation is locked. Okay. Can't, it won't let me do that. This is how we'll do it. And then I'll show you what I'm doing. All right, so. It takes a lot of madness to go live. I want to make a dagger with a, about a four inch handle. I, I don't like them being too big. I want the handle and the guard to work together when I'm doing this. And I know you can't see what I'm drawing yet because like I said, I'm not, I'm not awesome at videography. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just working this out. It's sent to me this morning by uh, Will Stelter to do it, so I decided I would do it. So it'll be, and I'm doing this in Imperial, so you know, inches. Get some concepts laid out here. I like the blade to be about 13 inches long. That'd be nice. That's pretty daggery, if you ask me. 13. All right, we got that. We want it to be. Let's see. Okay, I like that too. And some, so I got five inches between the pommel and the guard. And another five inches here. Another two inches here. So I want to set this up so I have a good balance. I might add a little bit more space back here for my pommel, because I really like the pommel to be maybe round on this piece. I just like the way it looks. So I'm just going to go for a two inch one. Make the pommel two inches and that should look really good. And the, and the guard might be bigger. So I'm going to give myself a 
a little bit more space for however this guard works out. Because I like it to be clearly on. And we're going to go down four inches from here. And then we'll put the pommel back there. I'm just boxing this thing in right now just to see if this is what I like. So some of the parts of the symmetry is making lines that my eye doesn't disagree with when I look at it. When I see the lines, I don't, I don't like, oh gosh, that's terrible. I don't want to see that. You know, I want them to all line up really nicely. So I'm going to give myself a couple of parameters to work in. And then the blade is the most critical part right here. So the last two inches are going to be, well, let's just say the last three inches. That's going to look nice if I do that. Taper from here to here. I think I can live with this. I'm going for some very artsiness here. <clears throat> I'm going to bring this line all the way back to the palm. We'll see what happens. Bob Ross or anything else. Normally when I'm drawing something, I don't make so many lines. And those lines don't line up automatically. They don't work out for some reason. So let me find out why. Why is that one and that one different? Because I didn't match those two up. There we go. Now, now I got it. Try this one again. So if you're going to hang out and watch, I'll be doing this on and off all day because my phone won't charge if I put an extension cord on it. So I'm going to have to charge up and then get back and charge up and get back. So I'm laying out what I want. Maybe this is okay, but I really like the idea of it being bigger, but I do like pointy daggers. So this will be a 13 inch blade and match both sides. So That's that side to that side. This is going to be the dark area. If I do that. Yeah, I've got 13 inches. Yeah, I'll be all right. Now, basic setup here. <laughs> Should have a compass, but I don't. But that's okay. Maybe this dagger needs to get a bigger handle on it, but we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna bring the center line back for it. It's gonna change a lot because I'm sure I'm gonna get a better idea in the midst of it. This curve. Hmm. 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 Hmm.
Could be a lot going wrong on this, but I don't care right now. It's better to have a basic plan before you start forging something than just go crazy on it. Because it won't come out the way I want it to be. I think I want it wider. I think a wider would be better. Yeah, let's see what two inches That makes it a quarter inch more out here than out of here. That gives me room to pull. I could put more fullers in it if I do that. Show one side of it. Alright, uh-huh, that part's got to get darker. I just got these little wimpy mechanical pencils, so. This is conceptually a dagger, just some rough lines on there, just some concept. So I'm going to get in the forge and start doing So this one I plan on doing, um, kind of a hot fit guard on there and a hot fit pommel, which is something I like to do. Hopefully it works out. And I only have 48 hours starting as soon as I started drawing this drawing, which was 11 minutes ago. <laughs> so we're 12 minutes in and fun to do crazy stuff. I'm going to, I'm going to probably, gosh, this looks kind of like the elf quest knife, but without the curve, you know? I think I might have done something too similar to that back at Blade Show. We'll play with the idea on the quillions a little bit. I'm not sure how I want to play with them yet. I might just, I want to make a big guard and then I'll curve it the way I want it and match it on both sides. I do like the idea of a bigger, um, bigger, wider blade here. I just, I just seem like I'm not a fan of that skinny little blade. Thick. So if I can get my blade set up, I'm going to get a little bit more because it's going to be, the, the guard is going to fit down into the, the blade will fit into the guard a little bit. So it'll, it'll fit, I'm going to do it one time. Now, if I can see through this thing, Tristan's got a light table over there, I really should just use it, but look at that point here. Once I get my blade pattern, this drawing is going to get kind of destroyed. And that's the way it goes. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to make it a little bigger than I need it for now. All right. So let's just go back and make sure. I got a... Blade. I want a pretty robust tang in there. I'm gonna get myself. That's enough for the. You see this? Probably not. But it'll get better. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Give myself about a half inch for now, and then I want four inches of actual handle, and I want extra, extra for the pommel. So I'm gonna give myself another. Just three inches for that because I don't know I'm gonna probably peen this over old school style now I have a pair of scissors around here I get my hands on them They're right over here this is just making a pattern for this thing this is my pattern making and if the middle don't move it'll be it'll be close enough because I'll probably 
I'm playing with this. When you do challenges, you're competing against yourself, not anybody else. You make something, you're making something for your art or your creativity or whatever, even a challenge. You're, you're always competing with you. You're never competing with some other people. The fun part is going against yourself. Is you make something better than you made it last time. It makes it a lot more fun, a lot more reasonable. And when you hang out with people who are doing great work, you're going to do great work too. You hang out with a bunch of knife makers who make, you know, they don't want to get better. They don't want to, they don't want to make anything that's like, hey, way out of my box. You know, I don't want to do that. Then you're not going to get any better either. You're going to develop the same attitude as they have. And that doesn't make a lot of sense. So here's my dagger pattern. See how easy that was? of a symmetrical dagger that has a 13 inch blade. I have enough extra tang here and it's plenty robust. It's, I would not call that a, a stick tang. It's over a half inch wide. That's enough extra material. I can do whatever I like with that. All right, another thing about daggers, when you make one, daggers are cutting from the point. So all this, you can make it sharp if you want, and you should make it sharp, but it doesn't have to shave hair. But this part right here, you should be able to, to draw with that thing. And that's one of the funny things. I see a lot of times people make daggers and they're too thin. They're like eighth of an inch thin. So this is gonna be about 10 millimeters thick right here, and it's gonna taper, and there's gonna be some interesting effects, and the point will actually go and be thicker again. So the point will end up being thicker, and that's something else that I've noticed on old daggers, like Quillian daggers and some old daggers. The points are robust for poking holes through armor or dragons or whatever. So thanks for watching. Uh, I'll crank this up again. I'm going to get a little charge on here. And then I'll go over and I'll show you some progress in the forge. And we'll just keep playing with this throughout the day. Thank you. Have a great day.